Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back in Russian Fishing 4. And this is the new map that I got to come to. It's, I don't know the exact name of it, but it is on the river, basically, as I've, I've heard it described. I'm sure there's an actual name. But what I'm going to be doing here, I've been doing a little bit of fishing here. And most of the time I've been fishing, it's been cloudy. And today happens to be sunny. And the one time I did fish here on a sunny day, I was having a little trouble catching things like carp and chubs. So we're going to come over to this side of the lake because I want to see if there's anything else that could be caught now that it's a sunny day. Maybe something a little different. Now this was a pretty good spot that I had tried earlier. I like it because there's not as much current as on the other side. And this is basically that same island that Delacaba Kachi was fishing on, only we're on the opposite bank. And I'm going to give a little shot over here and see what it's like here. Okay, let's go ahead and take our leader out to about 70 centimeters. Eh. Actually, let's try 60. Let's just try 60. I've got maggots as my bait of choice at this point. We're going to toss it out there next to these lily pads. Since there's some current, we are going to get a little bit of flow. As you notice, it's going downstream a little bit, so we may have to back up a little bit to get it closer to these lily pads. Anyway, let's just see if there's anything biting. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. You can see there's a bit of a pull, so there is some current here. We'll just see if you think anything's going to go for it. Just haven't decided. Nope, we're getting a bite. We're getting a bite. And it's... And it's kind of acting carp-like. Yeah, I had broken a line because something latched onto this last time I played. And it, whatever it was, it was so big it broke the 8.5 pound test line before I could even react. So there's some big fish in here, guys. There we go. Okay, what do we got here? What do we got? Ah, nice crucian carp. 35. Not too bad. Let's back up a little bit here. I want to try to get in front of these lilies here. Whoop. Not exactly my best cast there. Well, I want to get a little closer to the lily pads, so let's see there's anything going for right there that's a good spot too you know, let's just wait and see if anything's gonna buy here whoa I think we're gonna be fishing here for a little bit guys because we are getting plenty of action alright don't give up on me now guy there he goes. I think we got us another carp, guys. He is pulling on that pretty darn hard, though. Make sure he takes it, because if I pull this too soon, I will miss him. Let him decide whether he wants it or not, for sure thing I like about the sunny days though is you can see a lot better. It's a little dark when it's cloudy or rainy. Not that that's normally a problem, but my eyes aren't the best. <laughs> Boy, he is just... Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. We've got us a decent set. Ah! Oh! You little sneak. 
You little snake, did you see that? Did you see that? He played me for a fool. He played me for a fool. Okay, we're this is this is war now, guys. This is war. We're going I'm gonna pull this right back where it was. Let it float on down. That little bugger got off the hook. He's still there, guys. He's still there. I don't think that was me. I think that was him. Yep, that's him. Well, let's see how hard it hits. It may be just another one. Nope. I got him this time. Get in here, you. Not as big as I expected, but... I won that battle. Here, let's pull this in a little bit more to the... There we go. And see, the current will take it right over there, right where I want it. Whoops. All right. Looks like the carp are doing pretty good over here, guys. See? Let's just hope I don't get a snag, though. He's he's romancing it. I don't think that other one was necessarily the same one that got off the hook. I think that one was much bigger. Whoa, okay. God bless it, he did it to me again. I needed to let him take it. Need to make sure I set the hook a little bit better. Boy, they are definitely biting these maggots today. Now, see, I was on the other side, and I was hardly getting any bites at all when it was sunny last. But the thing is, you just really have to experiment. Whoa, okay, we got that one. We got this guy. Come here. Nice, 39. Okay, that's not the biggest so far, but he's definitely a decent one. We could keep doing this all day. This is nice. Alright, I'm going to let this flow on over there. Now, that was kind of odd, because that's that was kind of typical of the gold oppression carp to lift up like that well I must have hit a school or something I don't know what the deal is here ah oh, he you little pain in my oh, I hate when they do that to me you know what let's, let's do something here let me try this guys I want to try the cheese this time. Whoop. I thought I got... Okay. Because if these guys are biting that well, I could really lay into something big with this cheese. And you can't get cheese over at the market. They're out of stock. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. That's whatever that is, it's big. I can't get too antsy about taking him though. I gotta let him get it. Well, he's hitting it hard, guys. Come on, boy. I wanna make sure you're on that hook this time. I also want to make sure that you're not going to break my line. Damn. 
Damn. Ugh. He just hits it so hard I'd almost think he's taking it completely under, but there he goes. Okay, okay, we've got a big fish here. Whoa, okay, 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 okay. Don't, 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 don't even think about it. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to do this. Okay, okay, okay. It's not as easy to do when you're... Easy, easy, easy. Easy. Get him on the bank. There we go. We got him on the bank. Get over here, you. Don't you think about getting that way. God. Got him. Got him. 286, guys. Common carp. 1.764 kilograms. He is... That's almost four pounds, guys. Awesome. Awesome fish. I tell you, that cheese, man. And I did it. Got him out on that shore with a cane pole. <laughs> Very nice indeed. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I think we're going to hang out here with this cheese for a little bit longer. Yeah, I wasn't sure about that, but I knew if I was patient with him. Damn, it's another one. Can you hear the chickens in the background? That's pretty funny. Ah, oh, you little pain in my... I need to really make sure they get it. Alright, let's try this again, guys. Because we have found... Back it up a little bit. No, I'm just pleased as punch to have gotten that... That big carp. That was... Probably my biggest one yet. And they are still here. This one's not quite as big, but I swear I will take him. Yeah. Okay, that... I've got him. I've got him. He isn't as big as the other ones, but... He's still a significant one. Let's get him in here. Yep, another common carp. 103... They love this cheese, guys. Okay. What's the problem? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on. I wish I knew what it was saying. Oh! Might help if I put some bait on it. What do you say? <laughs> Dude. Yeah, there's some sort of way you can do the mini sinkers, too. But I'm not sure how to do that. Maybe you have to have a regular fishing rod. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look at the spinning rod setup that people have been doing. We are still going to go after these guys. Let's see what they're going to get off these maggots again. I think the Crucian Carp is primarily focused on the maggots. Yeah, see they're not nearly as big.
But we're not going to leave this area. We're doing too darn well. It's an excellent spot. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this being in English, guys, because I just don't have a clue what that thing was saying. Okay, I think we got this one. Come on, fishy. Ooh, nice one. Not too bad, not too shabby. Let's see here. I'm going to change my bait back over to the... Alright, let's see if we can't tie into another one of those big common carp again. But I'm going to make sure that I get back. This seems to be... This seems to be the location where they are. They're right here next to these lily pads, but they're a little bit deeper than I expected them to be. But I'm not sure how much cheese I do have. I've got I bought quite a bit of it, but I've been going through it pretty quick. Yeah, it's getting later in the day. Um, I think this would be like 7.26 in the evening, so... They're not biting quite as much as they were a minute ago. Let me go ahead and move this over here and see if I can get a new position there sometimes moving it around sometimes recasting can help but it might be time to switch baits I think I think the common carp have quit for the moment all right, let's do this, guys. Let's go ahead and switch over to to some worms. I don't have that many dough balls, so I'm kind of conserving them a little bit. I'm just going to get a feel of what's around here that might be biting on worms. it over here close to these lilies there we go we'll just see if anything's gonna bite now once it hits night we can fish for some chub over there on the other side of the bank or find some more of those cattails we're getting a bite. Something's, something's interested in it right here. And we got whatever it is. So bring her in here. Come on, fish. What do we got? Ooh, nice gold carp. Not bad. He's darn, darn near a pound. All right, that I'm happy about. Looks they're like they're just different type of carp, different type of bait. Well, good thing is I didn't get a snag off that, and that's actually a pretty good spot. Kind of interested to see what's floating around there that bites on worms. Yeah, another thing about this map, I couldn't find any kind of food wagon, so you're going to have to go to the market and get you some food. Because you can't let your health get down, or your hunger go down too far. But bread's perfectly acceptable, it works just fine. 
looks like we're getting another buy here. I think we got the same kind of fish because it's, the behavior is the same. Now if it lifts up, it's probably another one of those gold carp. There he is. Come in here, you. Yeah, he wasn't as big as the last. Actually, it's a crucian carp. I was sure that was a... He was biting like one. All right, we're back, and we're going to come over here and see what we got for these fish. Ooh. Not too bad. That big one, I got 1.54 silver. Not sure what... Why is there... Huh, that's interesting. I don't know what that's supposed to represent. It's red. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find out about that. That can't be good because it's got a little trash can there for some reason. That probably isn't good. Well, let's go ahead and get it anyway. We'll see what happens. Alright, that got me up to 41, so I got some of my money back, and I'm going to have to get in here and eat a little bit, because my hunger has gone way down. Give me a drink. Right. That got me a soda, got me something to eat, and I think I'm in good shape here. Yep, my comfort's all the way up. So, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and we will be back for another episode of Russian Fishing 4. And I'm going to probably be doing some more exploring on this side and some more fishing over there. But we've got to get a lot of fish, guys. We've got to get enough money to get ourselves a feeder rod and a spitting rod. But we don't have nearly enough at the moment. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next episode. And always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. Bye-bye.